hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel happy new year everyone thanks so much for the year 2020 thank you for subscribing thank you for liking all my videos thank you for the comment thank you for viewing i really appreciate it if you are just joining the club don't forget to click on the red button down there and you are welcome we love to see more of you every time we upload new videos up here okay so how did you spend your christmas and new year hope you've not finished eating the chicken share anyways yeah so what's up today today i'll be talking about something important to everyone especially the females well female and males Sure. it's important to everyone so i just thought that i've been playing a lot so let me show you the serious parts of me <laughs> as a medical student so you guys should come along and let's talk about sex yes i know some people will say sex like sex like okay let us hear what this girl has to say but in case you don't know um much about me i'm a medical student and i'm actually used to words like that so today i'll be talking about contraception explaining some methods of contraception and telling you what i feel about having sex education in primary schools and secondary schools so what's contraception contraception can be defined as the deliberate use of artificial methods to prevent pregnancy yeah so the use of contraceptives in africa has not been fully accepted like that because they see it as a taboo in some cultures some religion but for some time now people have been adjusting to it due to um a big thanks to organizations that keep educating people on it but nevertheless i still think people should learn more about it because these days we see people with seven children eight children and you're like ah i'm not going for family planning just like family planning no 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 family plan is not for me god forbid don't you know it's a sin and i'm like really in what way is family planning a sin anyways we we'll still come back to that so talking about methods of family planning we have different methods so i'll be explaining some common ones we can actually um divide this um large number of, of family planning methods into three into three sorry into three we have the traditional method we have the barrier method and the hormonal method under the traditional method we have the common one which is the withdrawal method and we have the periodic abstinence talking about withdrawal method i know so many people make use of the withdrawal method but guys let me tell you something the withdrawal method is the least efficient what's the withdrawal method this is when the male pulls out of a female vagina before ejaculating but do you know that a larger percent of female who makes use of such method end up getting pregnant you just like how how come at least i pulled out at least my mom pulled out before ejaculating yes just before your mom pulls out your uh, pulls out there is something we call um pre pre ejaculation just before his palm comes out and in some cases in the um pre ejaculation a little bit of sperm can actually be in needs which leads to pregnancy so you guys i won't advise you to practice such method as the least efficient and withdrawal method exposes one to sexually transmitted infection so you guys don't practice such method if you know you are not married and if you know you are not ready for pregnancy don't practice it so the next um, um family planning method on that the traditional method is the periodic abstinence this is when um you stay away from sex during your ovulatory period and most times if your um period is regular that is 28 days you tend to ovulate on day 14 after after the very first day of the previous period of yours so day 14 most times um 
day 12 to day 16 that's when you you ovulate so how do you know you're ovulating there is an increase in your body temperature when you are ovulating and also there is a discharge of white mucus from your private parts with that you know that you are ovulating and also some people make use of the calendar method where for those that know that their period is regular the use of calendar method may actually work and it can be accurate so those are the major two um methods under the traditional method remember withdrawal method which is the least efficient and periodic abstinence okay so let's talk about the barrier method the most common method under the barrier method is the condom yes you've heard of it i know so we have two types we have the male condom and the female condom female condom yes we have the female condom not so many people have heard of female condom because it's not really in use because if you should see the method of putting on a female condom like larger percentage of female won't even opt for it at all because it's so complicated but at the same time easy so you guys should check out any nearby pharmacy for a female condom a female condom and um, putting on a female condom does not restrict you from enjoying your moment with your partner so how do you um wear the male condom yes i have with me a condom me this is um proudly um courtesy of medical student for choice nigeria medical student for choice is an organization that creates awareness about family planning and the different contraceptives yeah, blah, 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 blah. so when you get your condom please watch out the way you tear it you just tear it gently at the tip so i finally saw it so you bring out a condom you can see how the condom looks i don't want to call it a balloon but some people call it balloon anyways so before making use of condom is advisable you, you know, actually advisable that your partner is well erected putting on the condom when you are not erected isn't so ideal it may end up breaking when you are trying to um insert the private organ into the female so it's always better when the guy is well erected so when the guy is erected said the, okay let's imagine this is a male um private organ so just put it in so the male pinches use um is right and is right and to pinch the tip but note don't pinch it too much don't pinch it too much then he uses his left hand to roll it down you roll it down while still you roll it down while still pinching the top so once you do that once you do that before entering your female partner you hold your private parts hold your private part either with your left or your right hand depends on you then you go into your female partner gently so the condom doesn't end up breaking so then when you're done with the activity you pull out like this so the sperm doesn't fall on the lady then when you pull out you just tie it and you dispose in a safe place just tie and you dispose in a safe place so that's all so i'm um, talking about the um female condom the female condom is something like this too the only difference is that it has a ring by this tip by this tip so it has a circular ring so when you want to when a female wants to wear the condom you twist the ring to figure it then you insert it if you cannot insert it by yourself you can always tell your partner to insert it and you know just have fun about it and one thing about making use of condom is that it um, reduces the risk of getting sexually transmitted infections and it reduces the risk of of get, uh, getting pregnant okay disadvantages of condom is that some people are allergic to latex so it's always advisable to make use of non latex condoms and also if not worn properly it ends up breaking which can lead to 
to unwanted pregnancy and st high so that's all about condom and condom is actually highly efficient so you can make use of it the next buyer method is the vagina diaphragm you can see the picture right here is as a diameter of 50 to 105 millimeter and it is placed between the vagina and the um, cervix and it is advisable to make use of it with a spermicide gel to prevent any vaginal irritation and UTI. Okay, other prior methods include the um, cervical cap the cervical cap which is just placed at the cervical canal and it doesn't interrupt sex and the other barrier method is the um, spermicide gel. The spermicide gel is like a cream in a tube which prevents um, the fast movement of sperm through the vagina and prevents unwanted pregnancy. So let's go to the hormonal method. Under the hormonal method, we have the popularly known pill, which is the oral contraceptive pill, and we have the um, implant and the injectable. Under the oral contraceptive pill, we have two types. It could be combined and it could be progestin only pill. The combined or um, the combined oral contraceptive pill consists of estrogen and progesterone and um, how does it act it acts um it acts centrally and peripherally centrally it prevents it acts on the pituitary gland the pituitary gland is in the brain and it acts on it by preventing it from secreting um follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone which prevents a lady from ovulating then also um peripherally it acts on the on the female uterus by making the endometrium atrophile and once the endometrium atrophiles it prevents implantation of filters thereby not align pregnancy so so apart from the combined oral contraceptive pill we have the progestin only which consists of just progesterone and this requires the lady to take it every day and a failure in this pill poses the lady at high risk of having ectopic pregnancy other ones include the injectable and the implants as well and they are all highly efficient the next method is the IUD. IUD stands for intrauterine device, which is of two types. We have the copper T and the hormone releasing IUD. Okay, so you guys should check the chart up here to know more about the two types, or you can check the link down there to have access to some presentations on contraception so another method is the sterilization method the sterilization method is just like the permanent method which um, includes okay for female we have the hysterectomy this is the complete removal of the female uterus well it depends on you if you know you don't want to give it again fine you can do it then another method is the um tuba ligation where the um the ampulla of the female uterus is clipped either clipped or cut off depends on you as well then for me we have the vasectomy this is when the first difference is either clipped or cut off thereby the male won't be able to ejaculate so it all depends on you you can just decide and choose your own method so to learn more about the different methods you can check the link down there for more knowledge more knowledge okay so what's my view about sex education i believe sex education should begin very early like very very early to me um to me personally i think sex education should start at the age of four or five Yes, four five. So let me know the age you feel sex education should be in the comment section. Why four five? That's because um I just feel the the earlier the better. Children of nowadays have access to different things on internet and you never know what they are doing online. So it's actually better to start sex education as early as possible, starting from don't sit on a guy's lap don't allow a guy to touch your lap then don't allow a lady to touch your um private parts 
for the for male children too then as they grow older you tell them more about it then when they become teenagers you explain more about it so what's the view about teenagers um having to go for family planning well i think once a teenager becomes sexually active i uh, will advise the parent to take him or her to any nearby health center for family planning because it would be nice if the child is sexually active and not doing the property and ends up coming home with an unwanted pregnancy and making them opt for an unsafe abortion it's not nice so it's better for them to just go for the family planning that's my own opinion so you guys should let me know your opinion about it in the comment section also about the um effect of religion and culture on sex education i think it's high time we work on that because the idea of saying oh if you are going for family planning and no no that means you are going to help fire no please you guys this is health issues please family planning is not a sin family planning is good for you it's good for every woman good for every man so please and um, please don't say family planning is a sin or that it's just for your own good because it's not be nice if you don't have if you don't have money and you have like eight children at home like come on now ah please you don't have money you are giving birth to eight children please so please if you know you have like four children five children and you don't want to give it again i would just advise i would advise you to go for family planning and family planning services and the good news is that it's actually free in all healthcare centers so you can get it for free in any nearby healthcare center center so some organizations that helps to create more awareness about it includes marriage stops nigeria medical student for choice campus health rights initiative we have pathfinder we have different organizations in nigeria that provide these services if you don't want to go to any teaching hospital because of the stress you can always go to any of these organizations and trust me they will attend to you so you guys should please opt for family planning and remember to practice safe sex yeah safe sex is far better than you going for an abortion an unsafe abortion so you guys should practice safe sex and how can you do that by making use of condoms even though you don't want to make use of condom make sure your partner is clean make sure your partner doesn't have sti make sure you yourself don't have sti enjoy yourself and if you know okay if you do that if you have sexual intercourse it may lead to an unwanted pregnancy and you don't want to make use of a condom you can always make use of pills pills just um after the sexual intercourse to prevent um ov ovulation from occurring thereby preventing pregnancy from coming up so you guys should stay safe and browse more on the different methods i couldn't really explain everything in depth you know due to time so you guys should take care don't forget to click on the red button subscribe click on the bell for notifications and stay safe